Chinatown. Chad's first stop. Seems kind of quiet for a parade. You should not be here. The dragon is angry. Dragon? And you are? My name is Maggie Z. I'm in charge of the New Year's celebration. We're looking for my cousin Jed. He was delivering. Jeez. Where's Maggie? Well, dragon or not, we'll solve this mystery. Hey everybody, it's me, it's Magic 4, and welcome to another episode of Scooby-Doo Unmasked. Last time, we started off a little bit cool with just a monster spider magic. This time, we are going to be taking down Chinatown. So, this is our overworld map, which is completely different than what you've normally seen in the first episode. This is basically, if you would think of like maybe Mario Sunshine, I have Delfino Plaza, this is pretty much it. But imagine that for like every single level and it's not every single level but it has like a world in this case and if you heard that little roar that is indeed the dragon and that's exactly what the mystery we're having to solve is a dragon yes we have a clue and it's a fortune cookie how stereotypical <laughs> oh look another hot pepper there's shrimp in the bottom of the barrel in this one. There's shrimp! I want some shrimp! Oh, we didn't get the shrimp. I'm a little sad we didn't get the shrimp. Hello, sir. I'm Fred Jones, and this is Daphne Blake from Mystery Inc. Hello. Pleased to meet you. My name is Hofan, and I own this antique shop. Of course, there aren't too many customers since the dragon showed up. What happened here? Some of the New Year Parade sponsors wanted a more modern celebration this year. They commissioned, how do you say, special effects. Hmm, special effects. And that's kind of interesting considering that a company that we were just in makes monsters for a living. Kind of puts two and two together, but who knows? Maybe we'll find out whose fault this is. Great! You found a clue. Let's have a look at it. Interesting. The fortune inside the cookie looks like some kind of binary code. It's a giant fortune cookie. How big is that fortune cookie? They have a freaking binary code. Jeez. There we go. We have our first official level unlocked. But before we do that, I did say we were going to wait for Shaggy. I was waiting to get a fifth ingredient, Shaggy. <laughs> so, if you press B in the corner kitchen and you just press A on the ingredients you want. I want to do chocolate. And I want to do some ice cream. Yeah, all the ice cream you can eat, man. I have to turn to poor scum all of a sudden because freezing. Yeah, I'm sure. Yep, you just gain an extra metal. So every single ingredient you put in will actually increase the level by up. So the more metals you have, the more ingredients you need, and it's plus one every metal. So for example, we just enter two, and now we need to enter three, hence why I was hoping for this. So you can notice that they didn't increase that much. And there's another one. And now we have a full one. So if you've been counting up to four, the next one is going to be having four ingredients required to get a next metal. So there's that in our hands. I know. Alright, so now we're needed to follow the trail of the Scooby Snacks and that will be entering our first level. First actual level, not the tutorial stage that was Monsters Friday and Magic. But this is Cookie Factory. Hmm. Making some cookies. Hmm. I like the cookies. Here we go. And as you can see, as much as stereotypical as you can be, I don't want to say this is racist because a racist mind is a racist kind, but this is kind of kind of pushing that boundary. 
find your way into the cookie factory. We're not even in the cookie factory right now. But before we even enter, we go into the side area. There's a little area that has an eggplant. eggplant. So there are going to be four ingredients, three clues, and one trap piece. So there are nine trap pieces to collect. There are 39 clues to collect. If you notice a the trend, there's, there's always going to be a trap piece in every level. I just spoiled how many levels there actually are in this game. Yes, it's kind of sad that there's only nine actual levels to this, but there's going to be 15 parts, I want to say, for this. Maybe 16. I don't know. But those will be our bouncing clouds. We just press B to break through those little barriers. I might actually make it an extended version. I probably going to make there's a version that is going to be normal, and then a version that's going to be speedrunning. I actually don't really know exactly what I'm going to do. I want you, I want you guys to know in the comment section. Would you want to see speedruns uh, certain levels? Because I could just speedrun this level, but I want to at least show what the level's like and show everything that it has. Like this, for example. That's a skip. <laughs> I won't want it. I don't want to do that. It's kind of cool if you speedrun this game, but there I don't really see any speedrunners speedrunning this game. Ugh. So I might be the one to start the trend. Who knows? Like I said, leave me, let me know in the comments to see which one you want. Do you want to just, me to just go with the 15 parts and then move on to the next one? The next Let's Play? Which... I don't mind doing, but I can go either way. I can go a little further of the series, but I won't do the DS game. Don't ask that in the comments. Please. <laughs> I won't do it. Alright, here we go. And there's the cotton candy I talked about last episode. Well, it actually looks like cotton candy, because it is cotton candy. Just bounce off of those. So if you see in the ladder. Just climb over, and to get the cotton candy, you actually just need to press B. You just drop down, bounce, not bunk your head. There we go. And have the cotton candy. And you can go on the bottom, there's a couple of things down here. Not requirement, but there's like some lovers you can get from killing the rats. There's a lot of Scooby Snacks in case you get hit. You know, there's, there's a lot. So, I know you've probably seen it already, you wondered why, like, those just have rocks in it, so... You can use... Oh no! Do this, uh, video. Wow, that was a glitch. Okay. So... <laughs> so if you keep hitting those little holes, they'll have some rocks covered up, and everything is made of rubber. So, yeah. Don't need that self-explanatory then. Every single hole you saw is made of mother. Everything in your household is made of mother. I think it would want to show the downward. It's actually just the... Oh no! Why, why can't I move? What? Uh, okay. The freak? <laughs> I couldn't move. That was weird. Okay. I, trust me, these these are actual actual first impressions. I didn't think they had freaking borders like that and that little bounce. I also never go down there because I'm used to speed running every day. <laughs> speed running this game at least. Alright, you're gonna just hover right through, you don't have to slide. There's gonna be a monster coming out. A Chinese zombie from a original episode of Scooby-Doo. Not the one, but a one. <laughs> Alright, so, just be beating up everything that's vulnerable. There's Scooby-Doo snack if you go down here. Oh, that, that rat almost hit me, jeez. Come on. Wow, only two rats? Look at three. Well, Alright, never mind. Yeah, as you can see, like, these levels are gonna take a bit. So that's why, like, yes, it's gonna be, like, very short as far as the episodes, but the episodes are gonna be pretty long. Alright, so these are spiders. 
He created this jump on Oh no! What the heck? Another glitch? Jeez. Alright. <laughs> I, I think I was like... A so, so you're not even supposed to... Huh. So spiders can usually take two hits of like the B attack, one hit of the X attack. You know, they'll step on us and they go on. But if you want to just just leave, like all those spiders, so you can get as much blubber as you can. Trust me. Okay. So there are there are two things to collect. First, I'm gonna knock this out of the park. Favorite thing to eat on Thanksgiving. I'm not much of a turkey guy. I'm a ham guy. I know turkey is like always the, the freaking food to eat on Thanksgiving and blah blah blah. I get it. But I actually prefer ham over turkey any day of the week. And that's for everything. That's not, not just for like by itself or like Thanksgiving or Christmas dinner or whatnot. Like I just eat ham. Like I don't really like turkey. So all the people that are just like wondering why I don't eat turkey on Thanksgiving, there you go. I would eat the turkey. I just never really a fan of it. Turkey to me, it feels so dry. But the ham is always so juicy, tender, falling off that ham bone. Oh boy, so delicious. It's the greatest thing you can do to make me a ham. You want me to fall in love with you? Get a honey ham. Get get one of those freaking uh freaking bags of like uh, freaking dollar bags of hams you get on the freaking grocery stores. Yeah, that is that's the ham I eat. Oh no, Chinese zombie. So, I'm just gonna jab lock him. Ow. That, that was a failed jab lock, but we'll take it. <laughs> yeah, so he's actually really easy. It's supposed to be your first mini boss. But as long as you don't collect everything first, you're gonna be fine. You see, look. You get a season. And now, right before we enter in, let us introduce to the actual boss. So Zen Tuo is actually the villain behind all this, but who is exactly Zen Tuo? Zen Tuo in the actual cartoon was not exactly attended that, like it was in Scooby Doo Unmasked. So in Scooby Doo Unmasked, he's actually going to be one of those guys that's going to be controlling the dragon, whatnot. He's the one doing all the dragon work. But we all have to think, why couldn't we have that story in the actual cartoon? Instead, we have a freaking mask freaking story. I know it's kind of funny when it's like this Scooby-Doo unmasked, but I'm not even playing around here. The whole plot of the Zen Tuo episode is a freaking mask. The mask of Zen Tuo. And it has a curse of it or some sort. And, and then Daphne would just be like, No, no, it's my mask. Ah. And then you know what people are complaining about spoils? Guess what? That was from the 1960 version. So, I think freaking 60 years is fine to freaking have freaking spoilers. Like, seriously. I was like, I think it was the 70s one. Like, it was definitely the first series. Like, the absolute original series. Like, you all are going to get butthurt about that. But anyway. So, a mask. <laughs> As part of the storyline for, in comparison to what it's like in the actual video game, which is baffling to me. But honestly, the, the video game story is so much better. And also more epic, like let's be real. Like Zen Duo like controlling a dragon. But we don't we don't know what the dragon looks like just yet. I mean I do. I mean, you guys that haven't seen the game, you guys don't. I'm sure y'all Googled it, like what the hell is the dragon that everyone's talking about? It's really nothing much. 
I'm not exactly too fond of the design of the dragon, but it's at least a dragon. Trust me, when you when you see this dragon, you're gonna feel so underwhelmed and go, oh wait, yeah, we're in China. And people say that, and they go, oh my god, I'm a racist. <laughs> It's not the racist kind, that's what I always say. Anyway. Ooh, I'm ready. Uh, just, I mean, these little things are just gonna be powdering down. Those are the flour that you make with the cookies. People who don't use flour to cookies, what's the point? You just jump over that. Some people say it's acid, but I prefer to be called dragon breath. Because that's actually what it's called. It's literally called dragon breath. Oh no! Whoa! 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 Oh. <laughs> okay, I'm done here. I, <laughs> I'm dead. <laughs> I, I want to bring a slow mo to that shit. That. <laughs> okay, that was funny. All right. Shoot. <laughs> oh, ah, come on. Grab the, Get the dang ladder. Thank you. Oh my goodness. I don't even know what happened. It looked, it, it looked like Scooby did a mid-air way dash. Like, honestly. Oh, shoot. Right, there we go. There we go. There we go. Yeah. Third. There we go. Fine. There's the app. Alright, here we go. And that is the final thing to collect. So we took care of that for a change. Oh boy. That was actually a pretty long level, but for a cookie factory, that's pretty pretty weird. So anyway, next time on Scooby Doo Unmasked. We're going to be taking on the next level. See you guys next time.